When you're moving temperature-sensitive commodities, you can count on Thermoking to provide you with the finest transport temperature control systems in the industry. King of the Road and Whisper Smart Reapers, equipped with the Micro P5 microprocessors, are specially designed to provide maximum protection for your critical loads. This video will present the recommended operating, pre-trip, pre-cooling, loading, and delivery procedures for units equipped with Micro P5 microprocessors. Units may start automatically any time the on-off switch is in the on position. Always turn the unit off before opening any of the doors. Read the operator's manual, including the section on safety precautions before operating the unit. And be sure to observe all safety decals. We'll use an SB330 Whisper Smart Reefer for our demonstration. The controls on King of the Road units are identical in appearance and operation. The front of the Micro P5 microprocessor consists of the display and keypad. A switch panel with an on-off switch is located below the microprocessor. The unit will start automatically in about 10 seconds when the on-off switch is turned on and continuous mode is selected or if cycle sentry mode is selected and conditions require the engine to run. If keypad keys are being pressed, the engine start will be delayed until about 10 seconds after the last key is pressed. When the on-off switch is turned on, the backlight glows and the standard display is shown. This display consists of the box temperature and set point. The sides of the display show the system operating conditions or modes. Symbols or icons will appear on the display whenever an operating condition or mode is active. This cool icon will light when the unit is cooling. The heat icon indicates that the unit is heating. When the defrost icon lights up, the unit is in a defrost cycle. The high speed icon means the unit's diesel engine is running in high speed. When the unit is in cycle sentry mode, this icon will light up. The alarm icon will be on or flashing whenever the microprocessor has detected an abnormal condition. This icon will turn on when the unit is operating in modulation cool. And the in range icon appears when the temperature is within a few degrees of set point. The keypad is used to operate the unit. This group of keys display unit information. When a key is pressed, the prompt or information will remain on the display screen for about 10 seconds. The screen will then return to the standard display of box temperature and set point. Pressing the hours key once will display the total hours hour meter. This shows the total amount of time that the on off switch has been turned on. Pressing the key again displays engine hours, the number of hours that the diesel engine has run. Finally, the three user programmable hour meters are shown. To check the engine oil pressure, press the oil press key. The water temp key is used to display the unit's engine coolant temperature. Pressing the amps key will display the amount of current flowing to or from the unit battery. A minus sign indicates a discharge condition. These keys change the set point and select other functions. To change the set point, be sure the standard display is shown. Then press the up and down arrow keys to choose the new set point. When the desired set point is shown, the enter key must be pressed to load the new set point into the microprocessor's memory. The display will briefly show load 
and then the new set point will reappear. If the enter key is not pressed, the set point will not be changed and will return to the original set point after about 10 seconds. Always double check to be sure the correct set point is entered. We've now chosen a 45 degree Fahrenheit set point. The same keys are used to select cycle sentry or continuous mode operation and to initiate a defrost cycle. To choose cycle sentry or continuous mode operation, press the select key to display the cycle sentry prompt. Use the up or down arrow keys to choose yes for cycle sentry operation or no for continuous operation. When the desired choice has been made, the enter key must be pressed to load the change into the microprocessor. As with the set point, if the enter key is not pressed, the operating mode will not be changed. Manual defrost cycles can be initiated if the unit is running and the evaporator coil temperature is below 45 degrees Fahrenheit. To initiate a manual defrost cycle, press the select key to display the defrost prompt. Then press the enter key to start the defrost cycle. The defrost cycle will terminate automatically. The select key is also used to view additional information, such as battery voltage and engine RPM. To return to the standard display, wait 10 seconds without pressing any keys. You can find further information about using the select key in the operating manual for your unit. The Smart Reefer continually monitors and evaluates its performance. If the microprocessor senses an abnormal condition, it will store the appropriate alarm code in memory and show the alarm icon on the display. If the alarm icon is on but not flashing, a condition has been detected that should be checked as soon as convenient. The unit will continue to run with a steady alarm icon displayed. If the alarm icon is flashing, an abnormal condition occurred which has caused the microprocessor to shut the unit down. The unit may be able to be restarted, but will shut down again as soon as the condition reoccurs. Caution! The unit may start automatically when a shutdown alarm is cleared. A decal listing alarm codes and their causes is located on the inside of the lower door. Here's an example of how the alarm system works. The alarm icon is flashing, indicating a shutdown alarm. Pressing the code key displays an alarm code of 66. A quick check of the code chart shows that a code 66 indicates low oil level. Checking the engine oil level confirms the alarm oil is added to the proper level. After the condition is corrected, press the code key to again display the alarm code. Then, press the clear key to clear the alarm from memory. And you're back on the road. More than one alarm may be present, so be sure and press the code key several times. Zero, zero means that no alarms currently exist. Always record any alarm codes that occur. This information is essential for the service technician. For additional information on alarms, refer to your unit's operating manual. <laughs>